Ooh, I'm sorry, what? Wealth and riches, that's all that matters to me. Call me anytime. Get out of my house, creepo. Hello everyone, Brittany here and welcome back to our 134. Uh, I feel like I said that like a question, 134, to 134, on the Sims 3 Aspiration Challenge. Alright guys, so where we left off, we had our graduation day, and we moved out her parents, so Tori's parents, Victoria and Evan, along with her sister, uh, what was her sister's name? Rosalie, and their youngest, their youngest brother, um, oh, their only brother, actually, Baby Vincent. Someone left Baby Vincent on the stoop of the school, which I didn't appreciate. I don't know who did that, but Morris brought him home. Um, and we also moved out Bentley as well, just to, you know, maybe have a little space in case I want to have a few kids, because you guys know I like having kids. I like the variety. So there's that. So we got, um, Tori her job. She starts tomorrow. She's currently working on her... Uh, logic skill, although she's well exceeded what she needs for uh, promotion, so we're just going to kind of keep ahead of that. One thing I'd like to do, actually, is after Morris makes some food, which he just did, is what he wanted to do, because he has the culinary librarian aspiration, so he wants to learn every recipe. I'm going to have him... Um, go find out what elixirs we got. We did empty out all of Victoria and Evan's inventories and stocked the, uh, Tori's inventory with, a uh, plethora of things, which you can see it's actually extended outwards because of that. I'm just gonna kind of leave it there. So, there's that. We're gonna have him go here. Let's see what we can find. He very adorably has the wish to marry Tori. Um, I wanted to have them get married. I just realized now that I had them get married after all the family moved out. Um, whoops. <laughs> We're just gonna do a quick little thing then. I mean, they got engaged in the bathroom. Maybe let's we'll have them get married in the bathroom, you know? I mean, didn't Mason get married in the kitchen? I feel like he did. Yeah. So anyway, I totally, that went right over my head. I think the baby being left on the stoop and just my want for them to get started kind of clogged that up a little bit. <laughs> Whoopsies. Um, yeah, nothing really here. So come on home. Uh, hopefully your wife won't be singed by the time you get home, actually. I don't, I don't know. Uh, no, you're not going to sleep, dog. You are going to go pee. You need to go pee. Uh, okay, so clean, and then eat leftover mac and cheese. He can eat something, too. <sighs> yeah, I, yeah, I flew right over that, didn't I? Yep. We could have mac and cheese together. Be super cute. I am very eager to see what their kids are going to look like. I'm excited. I know I've been heavily favoring, um, uh, no, not that. I want, I know I'm funny. Okay, get, get out of the chair. Um, I know I've been heavily favoring, uh, the looks of, uh, Evelyn's side of the family, but I'm sorry. She's gorgeous. But what I'd love to see is, like, his eyes, her hair color, on a baby. That combo right there would be fabulous. <laughs> Are we going to get that? <laughs> we don't know. So um, I, I'd like to, but that's really up in the air. That's, that's for the game to decide. Now, we could have kids until that happens, but I think that'd be amazing if it had his beautiful green eyes, her hair, and yeah. <laughs> I know, that sounds really awkward. Um, okay, so we're going to just get married in the bathroom because that's where um, that's where their relationship began. Well, it didn't. Well, that's not true. It began at school after school dance, and I realize that's broken. Um, it did happen. It blossomed at school. It did. But it, the, the, 
engagement happen in the bathroom. So I think it's only fair to have the wedding in the bathroom too. Why not? <laughs> oh boy. Um, if you want to know a fun fact about me, is today is Independence Day um, for the United States, and um, I got engaged on Independence Day in 2015. And so I've been engaged, or well, not I'm married, but I got engaged six years ago. I can do math. <laughs> oh darn it! She has two days off. Oh, that's a pain in my butt. Uh, crap. I didn't realize that. Shoot. Okay, well, that was, um... I forgot that they give you a couple days off for that. My bad. Alright, looks like we're gonna have a couple boring skill building, um... Days. <laughs> oh, man. We might have to just zoom through. Because I'm telling you, nothing... Unless... No. No. Do we have kids this early? No. No. I'm gonna try to wait for them to want to have kids before I do that. I don't know if they'll get that one. They should. I think after this wears off, they might. I forget. I think I read that somewhere. I don't remember specifically. But at any rate... Oopsies! This should be a couple of boring skill building days, I guess. Um, she really can't. Is there anything else that we can get for her job? Office hero, of course, we'll hang out with you. That's not really what I want. Um, we can do legendary host, but we're not having any birthdays, so I we'll have to see. I really don't know what to get them. Aside from multitasker, which is the most obvious one, I don't know how many other traits or rewards we can get that will help them. Her? Help her? So. Eh. Uh, Alright, well let's speed through and see if anything interesting happens. Like maybe- oh! Um, never mind. There seems to be an intruder alert. Trying to bust into my house, are you? Well, good luck. Gotcha. Anyone want to fight him? Are we going to wait for the cops to fight him? Somebody want to fight him? Fight him. <laughs> her. Him. Her. Oh, here's the cop. Get him! <laughs> oh, he kicked the cop's butt! Is that the second time? I feel like the first cop had the same thing happen. Dude, that was terrible. Just telling me. Sorry, Ted. Oh. Ooh, I'm sorry, what? Wealth and riches, that's all that matters to me. Call me anytime. Get out of my house, creepo. Bye. Yeah, it got away because you, you need to go back to the police academy and train or something. Get out of my face. Okay. I've had some really weird interactions with cops while we've been doing this series or something. It's, it's kind of weird. Or since I started playing, I should say not since like this series, but maybe since I've started playing. But I don't remember it with my other two series. Uh, the World Adventures one and the um, Island Paradise one. Um, I... Uh, just recall it more recently with this one. Like, cops have been doing some funky stuff. Even in my personal game. I don't know if it was my personal game. I hit the mic, sorry. Or this one where the cop came in and she... I don't know if she got the burglar or not. But then she, like, made herself at home somehow. That was kind of creepy. I don't remember. 
Anyway, now, now that the, the burglar is gone and the cop, <laughs> we're gonna speed through. We'll see you guys in a bit. I just remembered something. I realized that I had forgotten to mention why I didn't, or maybe I did, um, why I didn't want to move neighborhoods. Because um, now would honestly be the most perfect time to move because there's just four Sims in this household at the moment. But what I don't like about moving is A, you can, I mean, we could have taken the family with us, yes. But that would have been our only family tree. So I didn't experiment and I didn't save anything. I think I used this house and I moved our Sims <sighs> to another neighborhood. I think it was one of them or two of them. I forget who I even used. And the depressing part is not only do you not have, I mean, if you don't take anyone with you, you don't have a family tree anymore, but you, I mean, your your family tree's wiped out. I mean, so if you went here, you know, all this cool stuff we get from... Who do you even know? Who do you know? Eh, not much. Not much of anyone. Um, where is it? Uh, okay, so all this would be gone. So if we move these two to another neighborhood it would just be these two so there'd be no background on anybody so all this cool stuff we get with the family and everything would be totally gone and to be honest that's a little saddening um i think if anything if we get sick of the house we're in we can move to a new house um i've been looking into maybe getting a different house for them but i really am not I'm not all too thrilled about moving, just because I don't like how, I just, it, it's, uh, I'd like to, but I don't want to, I don't know. I don't know. We're going to do a little bit late night weeding right now. <laughs> kind of, like I said, kind of late, but we're just going to get it done. She is really chipping away at that logic skill right now. And yes, I know there is, you know, skill mastery that does come into play with jobs, but you can still get a promotion without mastering the skill. 
if the skill is close enough to the requirement, I think we're just gonna it's just gonna take longer. Um so I understand that, but it's not like we're fully required. I don't know. I just just need a break from it. Like this way they can at least get out of the house and do some different stuff, you know. Okay. Well 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 Let's continue. I got I got nothing. I just wanted to throw that in before I forgot to mention it because I think I forgot to mention it uh, quite a bit. So uh, there you go. A little bit of information. Let's carry on. finally cleared up. It was a little haley, a little blah. You know what I want to do is because we didn't get a lot of pictures of, you know, the fam, I kind of want to... Oh, that's nice. We got some wedding gifts. I kind of want them to go to the spring festival and get their picture taken because I think that would be so cute. So we're going to do that. Go with Morris. And let's get our picture taken. Who are you talking to? Oh, it's Miles. I can tell by the hair. Oh, you know what I wanted to look into is I saw, you know, where Evelyn is living. And I want to know who is she living with. I want to say it's one of... Um... Uh, her sons. But I don't know what, who the other one is. It was kind of misty and creepy. Um, okay, so 
I don't think she has any romantic interests. Um, uh, no. She got a degree. I think she had that before we started, though. Um, oh, is it? It's Matthew. It's Matthew and Christopher. So it's her sons. Okay. Yeah. So it's these two guys here. Um, okay. That makes sense. And then Cora, I still think, was living with... Cora moved in with Miles because I think it was mm, these two moved out with Miles and then Miles moved in and then so then obviously those two Mickey and Darren passed away Miles was still there, and then Cora moved in with them. Just kind of keep family in the house, I guess. So, yeah. Yay! Oh, that's sweet. That's so sweet. Uh, I was going to do hold hands, but I didn't see that option. Uh, let's go get her. Can we not get our face painted? Oh no, I guess not. It's not like someone was just speeding down the freaking street. Um, yeah, sure. And we got, what is this, like a dance floor? I guess so. That's cute. I don't think we've ever come to one of the um, spring festivals before. I know we've been to the winter one. Oh, that's a bummer. That's okay. That's okay. Alright, well then. Go home. Got our picture. That's all I really wanted. I don't know where to put it. We need to put it somewhere. Uh, where can we put this photo? Greeting card. They both should have one. Oh, they can't do it because they're not home. Well, hurry up and get home. There we are. Oh, look at how sweet that is. Oh, I love it. Oh, that's adorable. Okay. Well, on that cute note, I'm going to leave it right here. So I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please subscribe because I'm in the world to me. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.